go. The mattress buildup has been completed, which includes the introduction of the upholstery fabric. It's been tacked down along its margins. The margins held very nicely. You can see that the stripe is, is vertical. There's just only a little bit of play in the stripe relative to where the buttons have been placed. The buttons are placed in under tension to draw down any bit of slack that might be within the compression between the, the spring and the um, top portion of the stuffings. And it also acts as a decorative element, as you can see, that they're placed in rows of five, four, and three, alternating. Also, the buttons help to establish flex points or hinge points so that as the, the piece moves, and again, this is one piece of cloth as opposed to what we had, had uh, placed inside with the ticking, where we had segmented and placed in baffles to attach. This is one piece of cloth, so what we're doing is using the buttons to establish flex points. I'm going to fold So the over. buttons act like the baffles did? The buttons act like baffles do, with the exception of not being able to actually attach in between these points, but you'll see the staggering points, which takes some of the, some of the slack. So I'm going to fold the back over, and I'm going to fold the back up, and you'll see how it flexes much like a modern futon. There is some stuffing within that's rolling over the top well, in the seat. There's no way to mitigate this play because it is really set into the way the piece was originally structured. But as it folds up under tension, this is what we have. Once the seat is brought over, the tension between the arm styles and the inside back will be established and it will hold it into position. Roll this back out. Hold it back out. All this work and still stink squeaky hinges. And still squeaky. <laughs> Actually, it's not the hinge, it's the wood. Hmm. And even though this was completely disassembled and re glued, there is a certain sound that it makes. It's, it's what we all do when we're 150 years old. And it's ready for its gimp trim. There will be a decorative trim that runs along the tacking margin that covers up the tack, the upholstery tacks. And on top of that uh, decorative trim, there will be a decorative nail in the onyx, polished onyx, much like what you're seeing in the buttons. And they will nail down in positions approximately oh, an inch and a half apart. So they'll take the place of uh, these smaller tacks that are just holding it in temporarily, a lot of them? No, actually the tacks that you see along the tacking edge will remain as permanent and the decorative nails will act as, as additional um, uh, securing points as well as act as decorative elements. Oh, cool.